Precision and accuracy, that's what this third lesson in a chapter on measurement in my high school chemistry playlist is going to be about. Uh, now we've started this chapter off with a lesson on significant figures, another lesson on scientific notation, and then following this lesson we'll have a lengthy one on units and conversions. Now, like I said, this is part of my high school chemistry playlist. This is brand new here. I'll be releasing these weekly in the 2020-2021 school year. Uh, so if you don't want to miss one of these, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so you'll be notified when I do. Precision and accuracy, when we use these in everyday language, we often think of them as synonymous. So, so, but in the world of science and engineering, these are not synonymous terms and they're related to each other, but they're definitely not synonymous and you definitely have to know the difference between the two. So precision, so precision talks about like the repeatability of a measurement. So how close a bunch of measurements are all to each other, that's precision. They don't necessarily have to be right, so the correct measurement, if you will, or, or corresponding to the true value, we say, but as long as they're all close together, we'd say that's a, a, pre a precise set of measurements. So, but accuracy, on the other hand, accuracy deals with being close to the true value. So if I'm five foot eight and you measure my height and it comes out to be 10 foot by whatever uh, de you know, device you're using to measure my height, well, you're not very accurate. But if you come out to exactly five foot eight, well, then I'm like, okay, you're accurate. Life is good. So it, it just corresponds to true value. So, and what we, we often like to give you examples with targets here to kind of show you the difference between accuracy and precision. Now, in this first example, I've got a bullseye here, and so four arrows have all hit the bullseye. My four shots, they all hit the bullseye. And so in this case, one, they're very accurate. I hit what I was aiming for, but they're also very precise because they're all close together. And so in this case, we'd say these are accurate and precise. All right, in this next example, so I've got a nice little what we call grouping here. The sh they're all close together. Unfortunately, my aim is off and I didn't get close to the bullseye at all. So in this case, my shots are all very repeatable, but they're not very accurate. And so in this case, we'd say precise, since they're all close together, but not accurate. All right, finally, in this last example, we've got four shots and one, none of them are close to the bullseye and none of them are really all that close to each other as well. And so in this case, we're neither precise nor accurate. Cool. So, and you might see some graphics on a test like this and stuff like that, and you might see it in this context, and you might also just see it with some data. So, uh, if you get a big set of data, if you take the average, and if that happens to correspond to the actual true value of whatever those measurements were supposed to correspond to, well, then that's good. Now, the question, though, is the spread. If those measurements are all close together, they're precise. And if the average comes out close to the true value, then they're accurate. But you might have a huge spread in, in a big set of data, and it's a huge spread, and it, the average just happens to come out to the true value, but with such a spread, we wouldn't say it's precise. And so if the average does come out to the, that true value, we'd say accurate, but with a huge spread around that average, we'd say it's probably not very precise. So that's the other context you might see this. Cool, and that's this. That's this quick lesson on precision and accuracy. And again, if this has benefited you, by all means, like, share, subscribe. Uh, and if you're looking for practice materials associated with this, check out my premium course on chadsprep.com. Happy studying.